Okay, we're back for another filament. And this week we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite filaments that I've used so far and one of the weirder ones. It's wood fill filament from Prusa. This is wood fill linden light, which means it's a pretty neutral color. You know, really easy to use, easy to print with. It has a nice texture to it. So when you print, the layer lines kind of disappear for the most part, not on everything, but if you design the part right and print it right, the layer lines kind of disappear. One of the first things I printed with it was this bowl. And this bowl, it looks like a 3D printed bowl just in the wood fill color. And uh, it, it could easily be plastic, but on the feel, it doesn't feel super plastic. It feels almost like wood. It looks cool though, my wife likes it, so that means I like it. Uh, the second thing that I printed with this and the cooler thing to me are these coasters. I printed four of them. You know, one, two, three, four. And you might notice some of these look different and that's because I wanted to test out different stains with it. One of them is just, I stained it, it looks good. I like this one. The other one is I stained it and put like a floor sealer on it. Um, it's supposed to give it a little bit of shine and I thought if it will work on a floor, it will work on wood filament, which it kind of did. But the problem is it made it look more fake because it has a shine to it that real wood doesn't have unless it's you know processed. Uh, the other two, these are fails. They look right out of the printer, but you know without any stain or sanding or anything, they didn't come out too well. One, I just put the kind of floor sealer on it and one is just natural. And I was a little disappointed with how those turned out, but I learned a lot. I learned that really just stain this and it'll look good. Um, if you're gonna be printing with wood filament, I do suggest giving it a wood texture, like actually having the bumps of the grooves of the wood because that adds that level of realism that you know the bowl didn't have and that's why it looks 3D printed. It's not super expensive, so uh, check it out on Prusa's website. I think it's really awesome. Again, this is the road to getting 100,000 views on my 3D printing video, so Prusa can give me a core one. If you like this video, subscribe, do all the stuff, because I'm trying to grow this channel. I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you next time.